Now let's move on to something called the relative molecular mass. Most of the time we are working with molecules and compounds, so we have to learn how to add up all the relative atomic masses. So let's look at that now. The relative molecular mass is the average mass of one molecule compared to the mass of one twelfth of a carbon-12 atom. So instead of the word atom, now we are looking at a molecule. But again, we are comparing everything to one twelfth of a carbon-12 atom. The relative molecular mass has a symbol MR while the relative atomic mass has the symbol AR. The relative molecular mass is taken by adding up all the AR of the atoms in the molecule and it doesn't have a unit. Let's take a look at some examples. For nitrogen, N2, there are two nitrogen atoms in the molecule so when we calculate the MR, we have to take 2 times 14, which is equal to 28. So 14 is the relative atomic mass of nitrogen. For hydrogen chloride, it will be 1 for hydrogen plus 35.5, giving us 36.5. In carbon dioxide, the relative atomic mass for carbon is 12. And we have 2 oxygen, so 2 times 16, which is 44. For ethanol, we have 2 carbon, 5 hydrogen, 1 oxygen, and 1 hydrogen. So you can see the working here. 2, 12, 5 times 1, 16 plus 1. So always show your working when you calculate the MR because marks will be awarded. Now have a go at calculating the relative molecular mass of each of the following substances. Pause the video now. Here are the answers. Do you get all of them correct? Great, let's move on. I want to introduce one more term here, which is the relative formula mass. The relative molecular mass only applies to covalent substances because they exist as molecules. But when we talk about ionic compounds, we can't use the word molecules anymore. So we have to use what we call a formula unit. So the relative formula mass applies for ionic compounds only. But again, we compare this to a carbon-12 atom. The relative formula mass has the symbol MR again, same thing. And we add up all the AR of the atoms in the compound. So whether it's molecular mass or formula mass, we use the symbol MR, just that one refers to covalent compounds, while the other refers to ionic compounds. Let me show you some examples. We have potassium hydroxide, that is 39 for potassium, 16 for oxygen, and 1 for hydrogen. We add them up, 56. Mg, 24. S32, 4 oxygen, 4 times 16, 120. Lead 2 nitrate, PbNO32, so 1 lead ion, 207, 2 nitrogen, and 6 oxygen. So when we have brackets like that, you must remember to multiply by the number that is outside. Okay. okay, next example, iron 2 sulfate crystals. You would see this formula before when we learned the chapter on salts. So this is called the water of crystallization. And it's added behind the formula of the ionic compound with a dot here. So what we need to do, this dot simply represents a plus. So we have to add seven water molecules behind. So from the front, 56 for iron, 32 for sulfur, 4 oxygen, plus 7 water molecules. Okay, so 7 water molecules. And the answer is 278. 
So that's it. Okay, how to calculate the relative molecular and formula masses of different elements and compounds. Have a go at these questions. Pause the video now and try these examples. Did you get all of this correct? Great, that's the end of the video. Thank you.